I've got a new toy to play with and uh, well firstly an old toy here um, well this is the, my uh, ZKE USB load here the uh, EBD USB and this is a uh, USB electronic load and this is my favorite USB electronic load um, I think it's absolutely brilliant and that's simply because uh, there's a micro USB port here and you can plug it into your computer and using the free software you can create graphs just like this one where we see uh, the voltage here in uh, blue sorry and the uh, current in red and uh, yeah we can plot that over time and here I was checking uh, a power bank here I was recharging the power bank um, and we can see um, all the stats there and if I just move that up a little bit further right down here at the bottom we can see the begin voltage the cutoff voltage the capacity the energy that went into this power bank that sort of thing and we can see the actual curves and therefore for me this is much better than this more perhaps traditional arrangement of a USB power monitor and an electronic load this is essentially doing both jobs coupled up to a computer but this shows more historical data doesn't it than this this just shows what's happening the voltage and the current and possibly the power um, at exactly the moment you are looking at it it doesn't log anything but this is only USB isn't it so I have made some adapters in the past which will plug in and then we've got some crocodile clips and that's useful if you want to test something like this 18650 pair which is still a nickel strip tab welded together and I could connect those two sides there and suddenly I'm able to discharge this uh, pair of 18650s through the electronic load and uh, see the results on my computer screen but this particular unit does have some limitations uh, 25 watts absolute maximum uh, but it can go up to 13.5 volts and 4 amps but uh, I wondered if there was something a bit bigger uh, that might be useful here in the shed and then I found the same company ZKE Tech make this and this is not actually marked on the case this is the EBC A05 and uh, it's a DC electronic load but this also has a charger built into it just four buttons for the menu on the front four connections here um, it is a four wire measurement on this unit so uh, the current flows over these two banana plugs here and uh, we test the voltage uh, over these two so that should give us a more accurate reading on the back here there are two grills two fans and they're facing the opposite way so one is to suck air into the unit and one is to uh, expel that warm air a barrel jack connector on the back which uh, unfortunately isn't 5.5 uh, 2.1 it's a slightly different measurement i'm not entirely sure what that is and then a communications port here which is a mini usb connector uh, but this device actually isn't usb no this is a usb to serial adapter so actually on this uh, mini usb connector here we've got serial ttl i'm guessing uh, now if i open this up i did wonder whether inside here it would be a ch340 but it's not it's an unmarked um little controller there no markings on it whatsoever the uh, testing cables come out in uh, crocodile clips here and uh, they're quite large actually but uh, as you can see at the other end we've got two banana plugs if i can grab hold of them and uh, one is on a silicon uh, piece of wire here which is uh, of a reasonable gauge and the other one is a much thinner silicon uh, coated cable there um, and obviously that thinner one is for reading the voltage and uh, the thicker one is to actually carry the current so that would connect to the 
a plus connector. So it also came with a mains power supply, which is uh, 12 volts and 5 amps. Well, that's uh, pretty good being 12 volts. That means I should be able to plug this straight into the battery bank here in the shed. Uh, it came with an American plug and uh, a death adapter, sadly. Um, but on the other end, uh, the barrel jack, it does say for use with the Motorola DCX3200, um, whatever that is. So they've obviously... Uh, found this power supply from an old product or reclaimed it from somewhere so I've propped this up on a, a bit of tape and if we turn it on this is now powered by my uh, battery bank here we can see the firmware version there and uh, just about make out everything on the screen and uh, it's showing the the voltage measurement here which is obviously zero at the moment the current measurement um, we have the milliamp hour rating and I think this might be watt hours we'll find out soon and currently uh, the system is off um, up here in the top left hand corner it's showing which mode it's in and CV stands for constant voltage so this isn't a charging mode here um, a constant voltage charging mode and uh, this is operational without a pc um, so we can use the onset increment and decrement buttons uh, to set this running now i've connected up the 18650s we saw earlier and we can see the reading here is reading 4.236 volts across those cells so they're fully charged so let's see if we can change the mode if we press and hold set uh, it then shows us the mode it's showing charge constant voltage well we might want to change that charge um, lead acid pb for lead um, charge lifey and uh, charge lipo so it has some menus uh, some options for charging different chemistries of batteries and uh, nicad as well and nickel metal hard drive so it really does do quite a few different chemistries then we go into the um, dc load here and uh, the dsc um, cp that's constant power load and this is currently showing up as 15 watts uh, we can change to constant current cc and uh, um, there is just a meter now as you can see here the dc constant current load is set to half an amp and uh, this shows that it's going to cut off at two volts well if we agree that we're doing a constant current load by pressing the on we can then adjust the uh, parameters so i want to do a 1.5 um, amp discharge but i want my uh, cells here to not get lower than three volts so if i press set we move on to the second digit three volts and uh, press and hold we can put a maximum time in as well we're in the mode we're ready it's reading 4.23 volts and we can set uh, the discharge going and as you can see the voltage of the uh, cell is dropping there we've got to four volts we've got a one and a half amp load on there and it's uh, counting up accumulated milliamp hours so i've left this running for just over a minute now and as we can see yes there's a one here so this is showing minutes uh, just flipped over to two minutes there and we've uh, taken 52 milliamp hours out of these cells and if i press the set button uh, we can see the milliwatt hour figure here as well and 6.1 well 4 volts 1.5 amps that must be watts 6.1 watts um, is being taken from these cells so i can stop this test by pressing the on button which turns it off again and the cell voltage has risen up and uh, yeah we did 266 milliwatt hours or 65 milliamp hours so for example now i could press and hold set and change to a constant voltage charge uh, yes let's do that 1.5 amps happy with that i will need to set this to 4.2 volts and a normal charge i believe that means 
uh, press and hold set to save those settings in, constant voltage, switch it on and uh, it straight away switches off because the cells are at 4.2 volts. So, uh, well, I guess there could be a bit more testing there, but that seems to be working just fine. So you are able to use this DC electronic load and charger uh, pretty much fully, I think, using the four buttons on the screen and going through the menus, uh, but that's not really why I bought it. Now, of course, I bought this item because I wanted to make all these pretty graphs, hopefully to show in future videos. And as you can see here, um, well, we've got a couple of lines on our graph here. The red one shows current and the blue one shows voltage. So we can see to start with, we're actually charging at a constant current here, um, which was 2 amps and the voltage of the cells rose up and then eventually got to 4.2 volts here and the current fell away um, and uh, we remained at 4.2 volts so we had a constant current charge moving into a constant voltage charge it's then possible in the software to set a delay so i've set a delay here i think of five minutes here because this was running for nearly four and a half hours just over four and a half hours and then i did a discharge and as you can see i discharged reasonably aggressively here um, but it was at 3.85 amps but actually as you can see the um it wasn't a constant current discharge because as the voltage drops the current is going up this was a constant power discharge and as we can see at the bottom here the last mode it was in was a constant power discharge 15 watts um, with a cutoff at 3 volts so it started at 4.186 volts cut off at 3 volts and it detected the capacity of the cells that I had connected up was 4,894 milliamp hours, uh, which is 17.6 watt hours. So this second graph is actually a screenshot of the software, and I've done that because we can see what modes have been uh, happening here on the right-hand side. Um, first, I did a LiPo charge, and it charges up to 4.2 volts, as you'd expect. Constant current here of 2 amps, which fell away um, in the constant voltage phase. I then did a constant current discharge and that's what we can see here of one amp for a while. This didn't actually complete but we can see the voltage dropping away um, while the uh, one amp was being taken from it. And interestingly here on the right hand side uh, it does highlight which step it's in. So it's in step two constant current discharge and it does mention one amp uh, three volt cutoff. Um, so it's really easy to set up um, comprehensive tests on batteries and power supplies, I guess, um, with this DC load. Now these graphs can get quite complicated and we can have these running for a considerable amount of time, 21 hours this particular graph runs for. Uh, step one was a constant uh, voltage charge, so we got the uh, cells up to 4.2 volts. Um, and we were pushing about 2 amps into them uh, as that was dropping away. And then there is a slight pause here of uh, 5 minutes, I think it is. And then we did a constant uh, current discharge. So the uh, voltage of the cell dropped down as we took 2 amps out of it. I then did a constant voltage charge all the way up to 4.2 volts again. Another period where we just waited for five minutes and then a constant power discharge uh, this time at 10 watts and uh, finishing at three volts we can then see that this actually completed overnight and i didn't get to stop the graph um, for some hours but we can see the voltage did uh, the discharge sorry did stop at three volts but the uh, voltage did recover over those few hours afterwards and finally rested at uh, what ooh, um, 3.5 volts just under so the zke tech ebc a05 has a maximum input on its dc load of 30 volts and 5 amps or 60 watts but it can also charge up to 3 amps and uh, anywhere up to its input voltage. 
The fans can get a little bit noisy when it's working hard, but that's not usually a problem when it's next to a computer because they're full of fans as well. So I think this is a worthy addition to the shed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.